All right, I gotta get busy today. This tree, that twin tree there, and that tree. I got guys coming next week, and they're gonna take these trees out of here. That's right, this one's right next to the house. So what I gotta do, get all this lumber picked up. <laughs> And get all this dirt out of this bed and have to deal with these rocks because uh, this tree's history as you can see it's a danger to the house and uh, they're probably gonna take another dozen or so trees of ones I pick uh, I need to go look through them there's just too many trees you know in places I want to put things and some of them are suffering because they're competing for sunlight so I'm gonna pick a few out see what we can get down I'm slowly whittling away at it I'm not uh, not, not, as, not, not as full strength as I thought I was <laughs> it's taking me a while I'm taking a lot of this old cedar and stuff that's can't do much with and I'm piling it up over there by the other driveway to the pasture so the neighbor will pick that up and use it for kindling for the wood stove so it don't go to waste and I've got a lot of the good lumber I'll show you if it's kind of windy out today so I've just been taking it back here Stacking the cedar there, it doesn't matter if cedar gets wet. And then this stuff is untreated pieces. Uh, once I get everything stacked here, I'll cover it up with a tarp. And uh, it'll, for the most part, stay dry. Uh, I'm going to have to get started on a few raised beds sooner than I thought for the garden. Because now i got to relocate all that soil by that pine tree that's in the bed below that. So... Uh, I'll use some of this scrap cedar for that. I still got still got all that wood left. Uh, that'll be perfect for that. And I believe I've got some tin. And I can, you know, I'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of dirt in that one bed. Good, good, rich dirt that I, I've had good luck growing in. So I want to get all that uh, dug out of there and move back here. Uh, this is where the garden's going to be for a while, so we want to get all that set up over here, so that ought to give me a couple good raised beds for the dirt. Uh, what they're going to come in here and do is they're going to bring a big logging winch truck and they're going to hook up there, put tension on it, and then cut it, bring the tree right straight down here, and about where I'm standing is where they'll be, or they'll hook onto that big one by the house, winch it tight, cut it, it'll fall right towards me, and they'll probably put that one somewhere the same, but... I sure will be glad to get rid of those. Actually, it's that's a twin tree, so it's actually two. But at the bottom, it's one. But as you can see, that one by the house, boy, that's one ice storm away from being a uh, disaster. So I wanna get that done. This one, not too big of a threat, but it needs gone. Oh, Libby. Does it need gone? 
You silly as they come. You silly as they come. <laughs> well, I guess sometime last night, because I seen this thing was standing yesterday, this old dead oak tree came down. You can see where I tried to cut it, but my old chain, this was an oak tree. They were really hard to cut through. Uh, I didn't have the right, right chain, but uh, finally it came down. Crushed my diesel fuel bucket. Good thing it was empty. There's another tree I gotta deal with. That thing's all rotted up. Yeah. So it just breaks apart. Well, that's one of the things we got all these trees, and I've taken a lot of them out. But uh, that one there, I was worried about that falling for a long time, but it was a whole lot bigger than that. Actually, about half of it fell. Uh, it's laying over there. Yep, we're gonna need to get start burn, burning some of this stuff up. All right. All right, I got all that stuff picked up. Man, I uh, didn't have the energy I thought I had, but here's the deal with the trees. Here's how this came about. When uh, when I gave away the fifth wheel to uh, Butt Nuggets Homestead, uh, when Drew came to pick it up, he brought his friend Russell. Well, Russell knew a guy around here that would be willing to come and cut my trees down for the lumber. He's got all the heavy equipment to do it. Uh, I had a tree service out here last year, gave me an estimate of three to five thousand dollars just to take two of those trees down, and they weren't going to haul anything away. So this guy's going to haul it all away. He's still the offcuts. We're um, we're going to have to cut up and burn. Uh, there's going to be a lot of firewood. Uh, I'll have a big old stack of that. We're going to have a big fire out there, burn up a lot of it, but uh, he's willing to take all four of those down. And the one is only less than 10 feet from my cabin. And that tree has scared me for eight years. If we get an ice storm, first thing that happens in an ice storm with these, with these pine trees is it starts weighting them down. And it gets cold enough, they're just going to explode. And that will definitely land on the cabin. So that one, I've been wanting to get away. You know, we just can't come up with thousands of dollars to do it. So now, you know, lumber's in... People are making money on lumber now. So they, he's got a sawmill, I guess. So they're going to come get... Uh, cut them probably 8 to 12 foot sections. Load them on the truck. And then all I got to deal with is the small stuff. It's going to be a whole lot of work, but it's a whole lot of work I'm glad to have uh, to get those trees down. And then I probably got, I got a few cedars in the back around the shed. Uh, some places I, I want to build in the future. Uh, may pull a few of those cedars down. You know, he, he's only going to want pines or cedars. So, but there is a sickly looking cedar back there that's pretty big uh he can have cup there's a couple of them back there uh that'd be doing me a favor getting rid of them so you know and i don't like to cut trees down unless they're absolutely ne it's absolutely necessary but these these oppose a threat and then two directly behind the cabin they were quite small eight years ago when i bought the place and they're probably 50 feet tall now and they were only probably 15, 20 feet when I bought the place. They were fairly young. Pine trees, these short, short, uh, what do they call them? Short needle pines, I think. Short leaf pines. They grow very fast. But this one right by the cabin is probably about 80 years old. Uh, I, I think it was 85 inches in circumference. So I've been out there clearing all that area. I've got to remove all that garden area, you know, my little garden bed that I put up there. I'm glad to do it. I'll get rid of that soil. I'll load up that soil, take it, and build me a uh, uh, raised bed in the back. And that's really good soil in there. So I would be glad to get rid of those trees. Uh, they're going to do it one day next week. So I will film that. Uh, it's going to be some interesting content. And it's going to be a lot of work. So if anybody wants to volunteer to come help drag limbs and burn... You're welcome to come out, but I, I he's going to stop, uh, Russell's going to stop the day before and let me know, 
but it will be one day next week, and man, that's saving me a lot of money. I mean, a lot, and, and you know, whenever we got these big storms come through with these 40, 50 mile an hour winds, which is quite often, uh, I'm, I'm on pins and needles inside here. Because if that, that one was to come down this way, it, there's nothing stopping it. So the pine trees are extremely heavy. So, all right, guys. Uh, I just thought I'd do a quick video of this today. And I didn't even know. I did my morning coffee video and heard the dogs barking, went out. Somebody was coming up the driveway, and it was them. And um, so I kind of had to stop them from a distance and say, I, I could have something you could catch but i don't know so stand back and we talk for from about 20 feet away and uh so next week we're gonna be filming some big big trees coming down the twin twins probably 60 to 70 feet tall this one above the house or right in front of the cabin it's the cabin's 25 feet high and it's t at least twice that so it's at least 50 to 60 as the other one is by Libby's doghouse. So I'm going to relocate her anyway. Uh, she's pretty aggressive than any, anybody pulls up. And when, when I have her out of her kennel, if somebody's out, pulls up in the driveway, she just goes nuts. I can't have that. So I'm going to move her on the other side of the yard, which is better in the summer because it's shaded. But she only, she, I bring her out in the morning, put her on her uh, cable, and she's got her little doghouse and her lean-to there that she gets under. Uh, speaking of which, I got to go put hay in the doghouses tonight. So, all right, guys. Happy trails. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give me some likes. Happy trails.